guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my hygiene routine. So a lot of these products I've been using for a really long time. Others are sort of new to me. Okay, starting first with soap first. Dove White Bar Soap. I know it's kind of boring and simple, but this is especially in regards to your kitty, your cookie. I don't wanna to be too PC on here, but you know, with YouTube's rules, I don't even know what I can or can't say. But to be real with you, it can be hard to figure out what to do down there. Even the Dove Sensitive Bar Soap does have fragrance in it and gynecologists recommend both, but typically for me, I've had more luck with the White Bar Soap. It's just very much plain Jane, no additives, and I've had no issues with it. So you shouldn't be washing the inside of that area anyways, but even sometimes certain scented soaps, when you use it on the outer perimeter, it can irritate the area. This you should not have a problem with, so. Just letting you know I swear by this and it is the best and so even though it is a bar soap it's naturally gonna be drying it's not too bad I remember one time I was on vacation with my dad and I had to use his Irish spring bar soap and my skin felt disgustingly dry like there's conspiracy theories that certain brands will you know make things counterproductive for example like some deodorants will make you sweat more like some chapsticks will dry your lips out more just so that you can continue purchasing the product and i low-key feel like that's what irish spring is doing because that stuff had my skin feeling all types of dry and disgusting so anyways like i said this is still drying but it's not terrible okay next if you want a good scented soap this is so accessible you can get it literally anywhere i'm sure this is the caress body wash and this is in the scent mystique forever this is my personal favorite i smell all the other ones but this is something that i've repurchased countless times like over and over again this is what i get at the grocery store or the shopping mall like whatever because this is one of my favorites it doesn't have the notes listed but it's like sexy florals but it's not it's not too mature but it is kind of mature it's not really something for a little girl or a young girl but definitely loving this one and you guys i cannot live without my exfoliating gloves i use them about once a week now i used to do it every day but that's probably not good for your skin and you're not going to see results if you use it every day you really only need to go in with a rigorous exfoliation you know every few days in my opinion and you will see such a major difference the first time you use this or if you haven't used it in a while pulling these out again your skin is just going to feel so baby soft and it makes such a big difference so i swear by these it's not optional you need this okay for a sugar scrub i low-key feel like there's no competition out there at least at ulta it's like only tree hut and this other brand that i'm just not even into but I don't know i just feel like somebody needs to come to the market and bring more sugar scrubs out because i love them and i just feel like i want more options but my favorite one from tree hut is banana muffin i was hesitant to get this one but it's actually my favorite that i've tried banana mango shea orange macadamia almond avocado a lot of these are just the oils themselves but i found it interesting that it did say mango in there because i don't think that this is just a straight up banana fragrance i mean it is so banana like but it really does smell like a muffin it's just very sweet and you guys know how i feel about anything bakery related like they could come out with coconut muffin or something random and i would buy it because i just love anything that has a baked good note or a dessert like twist to it because if this was just banana i feel like that would be too banana like but the muffin you can really smell it anyways like to the point um it is a sugar scrub which is better than certain other scrubs i forget the reasons but like environmentally and better for your skin overall it's just better to get a sugar scrub which these are and it does have all those oils like i said and that makes it more hydrating so it is you know exfoliating your skin and hydrating it at the same time i think definitely every person should have a scrub just for those times where you want to pamper yourself perfect okay you guys i've had my ups and downs with shaving like trying to figure out the best way to do it i started with nair and then you know i always use shaving cream of course i've tried coconut oil which i don't like for shaving and then just other things that actually clog up my razor i don't know if y'all have ever had that like i tried shaving with this product from lush and it was just really messed with my razor anyway i found out about shaving oil and i was like why has nobody put me onto this so i ordered it on amazon and i'm kind of obsessed you guys this is tree hut again i didn't even realize tree hut bear maybe that's a new line 
but this is the tahitian vanilla bean first of all this scent is really really nice it's a very unique vanilla mm, very very nice i don't even know how to describe it but it's just like great in oil but the oil is thicker and but a little thin at the same time it's a really weird phenomenon but i've been using this all over you know like private areas you know body areas and this just really does a good job um this has just been really nice it is moisturizing it's just a nice alternative to shaving cream so it's just kind of up to you what you're more comfortable with but i just like the idea of the oil okay and lastly my favorite lotion this is a non-scented lotion but this is the lubriderm advanced therapy lotion so it looks like this there's many different kinds and you guys i've tried everything like i've tried nivea which i did like one of the nivea ones but it was just extremely thick like i would be sitting there rubbing it in forever which was annoying and then i just tried this jergens vanilla lotion which smells really nice but it's super thin like it's so watery and it feels gross when it dries down on my skin i don't know if y'all have ever had those experiences but that's like a common issue i have with lotions and even a vino has a weird consistency on my skin like i'm just very very picky and lubriderm this specific one is just really nice it's quite thick like it's thicker than jergens it's thicker than like a neutrogena lotion but it's not ridiculously thick like it blends in super quickly and it makes my like right now i just feel so hydrated but not disgustingly overwhelmed with the lotion if that makes any sense even though it is advanced therapy they don't go overboard with it and i just feel like this is great i love it okay lastly my mom made me use aluminum free deodorant so she put me on to loom i tried so many different deodorants before this but this one is just my favorite it's aluminum free baking soda free hypoallergenic all this stuff it is a gel deodorant but for some reason this just hits a little bit different like it dries pretty quickly it's not like other gel deodorants and there's some aluminum free deodorants that are kind of this gross waxy grainy formula and this is obviously not that it's gel and so I just really like it. I'm ordering a vanilla scent, so I'll let y'all know how that goes. But I've been just using all their other scents that they start off with, and now they have a bunch more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't that many scented, cool products, but these are genuinely what I swear by and use every single day. So hopefully you guys can be put onto these, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.